hey friends so i'm going to teach you here how to integrate ultra dynamic weather to brushify landscape pack here i don't have only the landscape uh, shader pack i have a country road pack but any pack you buy from brushify you will get landscape shader pack along with it so i'm just going to go to the materials and landscape so this is the landscape material that i have applied to my landscape here so in in this you can only edit with the parameters but what you want to do is change the nodes so you have to go to its uh, parent and i'm not going to directly edit this i'm going to create a duplicate and i'm going to name it something like dynamic and save it so let's open it up and i'm going to close that for now so in here as you can see you have the landscape dynamic material and this is the runtime virtual texture before doing any changes to this click on an empty space and then go down switch on the tessellation flat tessellation and make the max displacement to 250 and then let's just save it okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm not at all going to touch this part of the this part of this uh, material so uh, all i need to do is changes before i feed the material attributes to here so i'm going to expand this i mean extend it and probably add a reroute node here reroute node and connect it there so after this i'm going to break this attributes oh right i shouldn't connect it directly i'm just going to set the material attributes later before passing it to the end something like this and let's put it to the end and now here you need dynamic weather uh, effects and then you just have to connect correctly base color metallic specular roughness normal world position offset world displacement tessellation multiplier uh, okay no not tessellation multiplier i guess uh, so these six nodes uh, seven nodes should be connected to the dynamic landscape weather effects and then uh, in here i'm going to set the attributes according to these one two three four five six seven eight eight attributes one two three four five six seven eight and let this be the same as what's here after roughness it's uh, normal here it's world position offset and world position world displacement tessellation multiplier now all you got to do is just match the following base color metallic specular roughness uh, normal world position offset world displacement tessellation multiplier hold on for it to render okay so i'm going to save this for now so i'm going to increase the size of it uh, so it's very easy to do this you have to just extend mask wetness and put a constant order i'm going the default value of it as you can see it's one i'm going to put something like 1.5 i guess and save it so one last as one last step we have to enable 
dynamic landscape weather effects and now that I save it and then I'm going to change the weather to light rain and you can see small puddles are being formed here and supposedly if I walk on it you can hear that footstep like when I go on it and you can see the water distorting at the place where I am touching it and even the water sounds yeah everything is working fine now so supposedly I change the weather to snow and it's full of snow and you can see when you are moving you are leaving a trial and that's everything thank you for watching please like and subscribe and leave a comment on whatever you think about this video if it helped you or if it didn't work out properly thank you